today I'm going to show you another really great recipe from my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook, which you can buy anywhere. You've got it on Amazon or in your favorite bookstore or online any place. So one of my favorite recipes is coconut rice pudding. And I love rice pudding. I'm going to go back to what well, this is what I wrote about it. I said, it's, is rice pudding a comfort food for you? It is for me. And interwoven with my tender rice pudding memories of my childhood are, no doubt, thousands of calories consumed in my age of innocence. <laughs> Why not keep the comfort part and let the fat go? And let the calories go, too. With that in mind, I created this recipe which satisfies my ancient rice pudding needs without taking me up into another dress size. So you can use re regular rice. Do not use pre-cooked or parboiled rice. And what I did is I just took my grandmother's famous or infamous, as we might say, rice pudding recipe, which she made with thick cream and adapted it to using fat-free half and half. And you know what? Still comes out just so good. So, you can just cook up the rice on your stove if you want. It's only a half a cup. And, you know, add it to a cup and a half of water and cook it up and have it ready. Or, what I'm going to show you is how to do it in the toaster oven. Because, Sometimes, like if you live in a dormitory, for instance, and you just have a toaster oven, you may want to make this. And the whole thing can be made in the toaster oven. So, I'm going to show you how to cook the rice, first of all, and then we're going to add the pudding ingredients when the rice is over. So, um, all you do, I've got a quart size casserole here, a baking dish. I'm adding the half a cup I'm using brown rice because I love brown rice. Just stir it around a little bit and I'm going to add probably a half a teaspoon of salt. I like salt. I'm going to cover this dish with um, aluminum foil. Pyrex, you know, comes with a little domed lid, but many times that doesn't fit into the toaster oven. Now I've got my toaster oven preheating at 400, and it should be ready in just a minute. Toaster, toaster oven is up to temperature, which is 400, and I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes. Okay, <clears throat> so while the rice is cooking in the toaster oven. I'm good to put together the uh, pudding uh, ingredients. And here I've got my bowl. So what this entails is um, a beaten egg and this is a half a cup of half and half of fat free. You can use cream if you want but this will give it a nice texture too and uh, a nice rich taste. Here is a half a cup of chopped raisins. And then I'm going to add some spices. First of all, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of grated nutmeg. And then I'm just going to add a little salt to taste. I think probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'll mix up this ingredients here. Oh yes, um, I almost forgot. I'm putting in a tablespoon of cornstarch. 
Now I can mix it together. And here is the rice out of the toaster oven. Now I have to say that this, because this is brown rice, I actually gave it 55 minutes instead of 45. Uh, because I think the brown rice takes just a little longer. And so I'm going to add this mixture here. Basically with this recipe, the sweetness comes from two ingredients. It comes from the raisins. And it also comes from the coconut. And in my recipe in the toaster oven cookbook, I put this, the shredded sweetened coconut on after the this is baked but I think in this case um, I'm using like um, oh I think a half a cup of shredded coconut I'm just going to change it around just to see what happens by putting the coconut on now and then baking it um, I said a quarter of a cup but I think I'm putting in probably about a half a cup Okay, so the oven is still at 400, and this rice with the pudding mixture in it is going in for 10 minutes. I'm now going to set the timer for 10 minutes. You can see um, after 10 minutes that um, the pudding is nicely browned around the edges, and I'm going to have to give it the taste test to see how it turned out. So I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then have a try. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, boy. So I actually uh, put some more fat-free half and the half in the, on this um, just to give it a little more liquid. And I sprinkled a little more uh, shredded coconut on the top. So, you know, you obviously can add whatever you want, uh, but this, this pudding is really good uh, with any kind of ingredients you want to use. So now I'm going to give it a try. Even with the change of ingredients, <laughs> this still bring, brings back a lot of memories. I can just sort of go back and be sitting in my grandma's kitchen Maybe it's snowing outside in Minneapolis and having some of her wonderful rice pudding. Mm. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I have two interests. I, I am very interested in art, and I have a website called Free Online Art Classes that is exactly that. It's a whole lot of art classes and a lot of art resources for free. You don't even have to log in. Just go into it and take the classes you want. And also I've made a lot of videos on cooking with my toaster oven cookbook. So those are all on YouTube. Check those out. Um, and, uh, and enjoy. And it's all free.